Hey everyone, Adam Harrington here from Learn Your Land, and with me today are these three massive specimens of the Rishi mushroom in the Ganoderma genus. And this is truly remarkable. You just don't really see Rishi mushrooms this large in Pennsylvania, especially this time of the year. Now you will find Rishi mushrooms occasionally to be rather large, but honestly, this specimen right here is probably at least 15 inches across, if not more, and the rest of these are well over 12 inches across. And that's truly amazing. When I'm looking for reishi mushrooms, typically in June and July, in order to make medicine from them, I typically find them when they're six to eight inches and they're mature specimens. But to find them this large, I'm really impressed right now. So not only are these giant, 15 inches across, what else is truly amazing is this tree right here. This is an American beech tree. You really don't find reishi mushrooms in Pennsylvania, especially in hemlock birch forests on American beech trees. So my first thought was that, okay, this is Ganoderma suge, the hemlock reishi mushroom, or the hemlock varnish shelf, on a hemlock tree. It looks exactly like Ganoderma suge. You got the little necks, these nubs, these little ET necks. You got the red lacquered cap. It looks exactly the same on the bottom right here as well. But it's growing on an American beech tree, and so is this Ganoderma suge, the hemlock reishi mushroom? I would say that it is, but it might not be. The reason I would say that it is is because I've seen Ganoderma suge all around this forest right here. And in fact, about 300 yards down this hill, if you follow this stream, it's growing right now. It's a little past its prime, and these are a little past its prime. But still, the point is that it's growing on an American beech tree. So what's going on? Can hemlock reishi mushroom Ganoderma suge use the American beech tree as a substrate? Or is this a different mushroom altogether? Is it a different Ganoderma species? I would venture to say that it is hemlock reishi mushroom Ganoderma suge, but to be absolutely sure, I'm gonna take a DNA sample of this. Well, I'm actually gonna use the Western Pennsylvania Mushroom Club and their help. And so what we do in the club is we send away mushroom samples and we get the DNA analysis and match them up with other species. So actually I was here maybe three or four weeks ago and we found these mushrooms on this tree right here. We were blown away. So I did take a little sample. There's a little triangle missing right here. And so we smeared that on a DNA sample sheet and we were gonna send that away, but I forgot that you need the entire specimen to send to the herbarium at Duke University. So I'm back here, I climb this hill again drove many hours to come back to this spot to harvest one of these mushrooms so that we can send it away and find out the truth or get really close to the truth. So this may be Ganoderma suge. If so, that's gonna be pretty unique because Ganoderma suge, suge means suga, which is suga canadensis, the eastern hemlock tree. And if you look in the resources, if you look in the mushroom books, you're gonna see that Ganoderma suge grows almost always on eastern hemlock trees. But maybe this is the exception today, that it's growing on an American beech tree, Fagus grandifolia. But I could be completely wrong. It could be a completely different Ganoderma species. Still, we're going to try to find out. We're going to send this away and get some answers. Anyway, this just goes to show how complex the fungal kingdom is. More complex than anything that we could ever totally understand. But that just makes learning this entire kingdom, learning the families, learning the species, all the more worthwhile. Thanks for watching.